So I know this title is called Easy Way to Make Better Deep House Music, but let me start by saying it works for me and my tastes, and more importantly, you do not need this keyboard specifically to do this. Let me repeat, do not buy this keyboard. I'm saying that to the majority of people watching that are just making music for fun and possibly putting out a couple tracks here and there. This keyboard is amazing. It's the Nord Electro 6D. This one here, right? By Nord, semi-weighted, incredible. But it is complete overkill for what I am using it for. The Nord, this Electro 6D cost, I think about $2,600 without tax at the time of this recording. And I'm only really using it for two or three sounds. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but know that I got this at a really good discount. And originally I was looking up looking to pick up the Nord Electro 4D for about $1,200 used. And if you could do that, I would say go for it. But I personally would probably never pay $2,600 for a keyboard to only use a few presets or maybe even use it as like a MIDI controller once in a while because this keyboard does feel really nice. And since I suck at playing the keys, it wouldn't really make financial sense. And actually, you know what? I could proudly say I've been getting better at playing the keys in part to today's video sponsor, Melodics, but more on them later. So how am I using this to make better house music? Basically, long story short, house in my world is something simple like this. Right, a real simple loop, maybe two bars, four bars or something like that. But what having these types of sounds that come out of this Nord do, what they do for me basically is allow me to take something simple like this and turn it into something a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more lifelike in there. I'm just kind of messing around. I throw on some random little piano sound like this. And what I'm trying to get at is when I'm making house and I'm using a lot of samples and a lot of really repetitive sounds and, and um, loops, I need something to break up the monotony. So having something like a regular organic sounding piano or strings or an organ, like there's even this decent organ. I think it's this one here. Watch. I mean, it's super crazy loud in the mix. Actually, you know what? Before I get too far ahead of myself, if you're like, damn, he is shredding right now. One, I know you're not thinking that because I am not. I just happen to know what scale I'm in. So it's really easy to improvise, which is G minor in case you wanted to play along. And two, I've gotten better at jamming along to my beats thanks to today's video sponsor, Melodics. So before we jump into some more sounds and some more examples of different ways to kind of break it up, let me give a quick shout out to them. What Melodics does is help you build your skills and confidence on MIDI keyboards, pad controllers, and just jamming along with tunes. And honestly, like, you know, synthesizers and stuff, keyboards like this, it doesn't really matter. It just teaches you a lot. I've been using Melodics for a hot minute now. I'm actually only on level six, which sucks because I started using Melodics with a fake email in case I didn't like it. And then I loved it and had to start my progress all over. But that's besides the point. Melodics has over 1500 courses, lessons, and exercises that give you real-time feedback on how you're doing. My favorite course right now is called Building Chords because, well, like the title says, it helps me build chords. And jokes aside, it was nice or it is nice learning how to make chords fit within certain scales and how some chords can kind of fall out of scale but still work. That's something I've never really understood, but I was always curious about. So 
now I kind of have a better understanding of it, I guess you could say. So since you've made it this far, the team at Melodics are giving away $1,000 to someone at random who signs up using my link down below. Just enter in the promo code, and not only will you get into the drawing to win 1000 bucks, but you will also get a big discount on monthly and annual subscriptions. But hurry, since this deal does end soon. All right, let's get back into it. So, you know, got an organ sound. Another one of my favorite sounds is any kind of strings. And what I was kind of saying earlier about this, which is you don't need this keyboard. You can buy basically any plugin. I mean, I think Labs by Spitfire is free. I could be wrong. It might have came in a bundle of something you bought at some point in time, but they have really good, those like expressive string stuff. Those are really nice, but I love these. Um, I'm gonna butcher this. I call them Depacem. They could be Depacem. P-A-C-M, I don't know, but it's a beautiful sound, right? So listen to this. I love strings in my house music. I, I don't know if I get this from kind of Carrie Chandler or the old school, right? Or even higher pitch, let's go higher. Yeah. And then even play this around. a little bit of a vibe on here. back to the little piano, amper upright. Let me turn this low pass back up. I don't know, we're in G minor, let's see what it does. I, I, hold on, real quick too. This, me jamming right now, I can only hope that it sounds decent. I think it sounds okay. It's not great, but it takes a little bit to kind of get going, right? And I'm kind of learning these groups. I'm no Byron the Aquarius. I'm not sure if you're familiar with his music. Link down below. Absolutely insane keyboard player, house music extraordinaire, love his stuff. But I'm just trying, right? I'm just trying to experiment. And what I'm trying to do really for my style of house music, I'm trying to feel a little loose and almost as if I want to do some call and response stuff in a way, right? Because this... Right, and then you start throwing effects on all this to really get it kind of bouncing around. We'll do... Uh, playing in this kind of staccato-y, right, versus the longer. But, I mean, everything kind of has its place. I mean, listen to this, it's just so, so pretty. And I mean, I guess to get back to the point of me even wanting to talk about this keyboard and how to make better house music, it's, it's that I love the mixture and the combination of 
hardcore quantization, maybe a little bit of swing here and there, and then a human in the mix. I find that that is just something else to grasp onto, something else to, to kind of reel me in and keep me interested in the song as opposed to just playing math, right? Like, cool, look at this little patch that can just play for 20 minutes, right, by itself, and it kind of always changes. That's cool, but it's, I think it's just trying to find a way to give our music a little bit of soul or uh, humanistic, right? Because, I mean, you have, what is it? The uh, You have different chances, like if you go and uh, you got humanized, sure, we can try and humanize a machine. Is it human? No, it's still just based off of some rhythmic, randomized mathematical equation, right? And maybe we can argue that we're mathematical equations. I don't know where we live. Where am I going with this? Long story short, don't buy this insane keyboard. But what I want you to walk away with this is allow yourself to be in your music. I think that that really, really makes music that much better, at least to me, because I can hear who's making it as opposed to knowing that someone else can fully make this in another way by just programming something the same way you did, right? But our brains, I'm hoping, are all programmed a little differently. This is getting way too weird. Long story short, play play an instrument. And it doesn't have to be this really expensive one. And I hesitated on talking about this for a really long time because this keyboard is so expensive. And I'm just using it for literally this amber upright sound this bright dyna, or the praise, my bad. And then the strings, I'm just calling them violin. Right? Super pretty, but there's a million plugins that could do this. I just happened to get a good deal on this, and I figured by not talking about it, I would hate to lead someone astray into thinking that they should buy this if they saw it in the background, which, you know, it's usually right there, but it's not there right now because I have it here. Um, yeah, I love this thing, but I would not recommend it to anybody unless you're, this is your day job. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna jam a little more. You're more than welcome to kick it. Uh, I appreciate you coming by. Forgive me for getting so weird about this topic. I think it's maybe a topic that in a way I think I might think about it a little too differently and I might be a bit embarrassed to get too deep into the way I think about these things. Maybe that's something worth talking about. I don't know. But right now, I'm working on it. We're all working on ourselves. So, uh, yeah. Until then, my friend, I appreciate you so much. Share the love. Share the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Peace.